amazing people do lots of important jobs inside and outside hospitals that help to keep you safe. But what will happen when we have a go? I feel a bit silly. This is Operation Takeover. Can you guess who today's hero is? Well, I'll give you a clue. They may use one of these to bring you food and drink. Wait, did somebody say food and drink? Ooh. I'll have some juice and a cheese sandwich, please. Oh, certainly, sir. What kind of cheese would you like? Wait a minute, Zahn. This isn't a real flight, isn't it? If you do require any assistance, please don't hesitate to contact a member of the cabin crew. Did you guess it? We're about to take over the job of today's high-flying hero, British Airways cabin crew trainer, Chris. The pilots might be flying the plane, but it's the cabin crew who are there to keep you safe in an emergency. The way most of us meet cabin crew is because you guys serve us food and drink. But that's not the main reason you're on the plane, is it? No. In the very rare instances that may happen, we need to ensure that we are capable and able to deal with any situation, whether it's a medical situation or something that might be wrong with the aircraft. Can you show us the safety demonstration? Absolutely. The safety briefing is the most important information given to passengers before takeoff. And Chris runs us through it. Your safety card is in your seat pocket. Please take it out and study it. Passengers should keep their seatbelt fastened at all times. It is fastened, adjusted and released as shown. If the cabin air supply fails, oxygen masks will fall from the panel above you. Pull a mask over your nose and mouth and breathe normally. Life jackets are located under your seat. Inflate it by pulling on this toggle or blowing into this tube. Finally, all passengers should note the location of their nearest emergency exit. All cabin crew have intensive training and are able to deal with medical emergencies. Every year we refresh our knowledge. We are, throughout the year, expected to have that knowledge at a set level because we need to act on it at any time. And they do. Cabin crew assist with around 44,000 in-flight medical emergencies worldwide every year. We've seen just how important the work of cabin crew is in keeping you safe in the air. But in our time as cabin crew, will we be high flyers or will we never get off the ground? It's time for us to go head-to-head -head as cabin crew. I want to see how well you deliver that safety demonstration want to see how well you'll deal with medical scenarios and thirdly, want to see how well you cope under pressure. Are you ready? We're ready. We're ready. Where did you get that? You've got to do the uh, tie a nice tight knot and then you just pull the cord. Zahn's up first. No pressure. The flight looks full today. There is the safety card in your seat pocket. It describes the brace position, uh, your seat belt. If you have any questions about it, uh, you can ask a member of the crew. Off to a flying start, Zahn. Now it's my turn. In the unlikely event of cabin depressurization, oxygen masks will fall from the ceiling. Life jackets are located in and around your seat. I think we're breezing through it, Chris. Um, the exits weren't pointed out, sure. so no one knows uh, where those exits are. Everyone fasten your seatbelts. Oh dear. With the safety briefing over, can I get you anything to drink? Yes. The next test should be more up our street. Oh, excuse me, I've really hurt my shoulder. Do you mind letting this lady out? Ooh, moving the passenger, Chris. Is that a good idea? Ideally, I'd sit you down. If there'd, there'd normally be a little crew seat. Can I have some water, please? With ice and lemon. I'm looking after this patient. I can't deal with that man's request, so I, I, I'm going to ignore it for the time being. I hope you're not cracking, Chris. OK, I wasn't expecting to have to use a sling. I can see that. When was the last time you put a sling on someone, Chris? It's not really holding my arm up. It might have been a while ago, Zahn. How are you going to deal with the situation, then? Why don't you sit there, try and support your arm with your other arm, and I'm going to get the medical kit. It's really hurting. Can you hurry up? Hop to it, your patient's waiting. Excuse me. So what I'm going to do, me. I'm just helping this lady, I'm sorry. Good prioritisation skills there. The most important thing, I think if we keep it still, that will that will help with the pain. Feeling a bit more comfortable yes, now? that's a bit better. Cabin crew prepare for landing, the challenge is over. Well, I'm so glad that's over. I can use a cup of tea. It's time for the verdict. How did we do, Chris? So the first area was the safety demo. With that, you both didn't point out the exits. Really, really important. How do we not do that? Secondly, the medical incident. Surely we've got this in the bag. Our lady, she'd broken her arm. One of you 
dealt with the situation. In the cabin, another took her away. Moving her will hurt her even more. After all, Chris, you are on a moving aircraft. And thirdly, staying calm under pressure. Dr. Chris, I think you're a little bit flustered during the challenge. Dr. Zan got the impression that you were in control and there was an air of calmness going on. So, Chris, what's the verdict? It was very close. Dr. Zan. Yes! You know, Zan, I think what we've really learned today is how important cabin crew are for keeping you safe in the air and that it is most definitely a job best left to the professionals. We should hand our blazers back. Chris, thanks very much. Thank you. Right, Chris, we've landed. Let's go get our luggage. Wonder where we are. <laughs>